This year, our Black Friday sale is going on all month long. From now till the end of November, pick up any of our DVDs at walkawayentertainment.com for just five bucks each, including our latest film, Another Cinema Snob Movie. Killer turkey movies make me feel really generous for some reason. What? A Thanksgiving horror film about an evil turkey? Truly, these movies have gone too far. I do not recall anything this silly ever popping up on my show. What am I least thankful for this Thanksgiving, other than my lack of furniture? Well, it's this little movie here called Blood Freak. You sure are ugly. <laughs> Whatever, that's just some guy with hair on his head, no hair on his face, and without a big comfy chair. And the quality is so dark, I can't even tell who it is. Thanks Killing is a killer turkey slasher film made by a group of rapscallions on a $3,500 budget, filmed over 11 days during the summer break of director Jordan Downey and writer Kevin Stewart. What would I know about working on a movie with that low of a budget? Clearly I need to be throwing shade at this film. <laughs> Woof. Thanks Killing is a movie so organic, they came up with the tagline for the film before they came up with the plot or the title. Much like how Saving Private Ryan originated with the tagline, Dude carrying around his arm, bro. What else do I say about this film, except it's the cinematic equivalent of turning white gravy into brown gravy simply by taking a crap in it. This movie does not get real Thanksgiving drama. What the hell company made this? Pfft, how am I supposed to get scared if it's in broad daylight? And it's spotlighting the Roaring Twenties! Get out your flapper skirts, girls! I bet this movie will be historically accurate. Or not, there were no boobs back then. I see we're witnessing the origin of ye olden deadites. Nice tits, bitch! And that's why we celebrate Columbus Day. After that voice, I'm surprised this movie isn't called Black Devil Turkey from Hell. The movie features Wanda Lust, obviously named after her favorite sin, Greed. I see the movie is promising me that there will be a body count and that the people behind the movie are bastards. Can't tell if opening credits from Fight Club or Jason X, both practically the same movie. I suddenly have the urge to watch Basic Cable. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Dawson's Creek, today is a good day to be handsome. Ah! Thanksgiving break! Yes! Oh, my mistake. It's Varsity Blues. Guess these are our leads. Pull your shirt down, honey. It's Thanksgiving, not Titsgiving. This movie really gets college girls. Wait up, the nerdy guy wants to tag along before he becomes the killer in either Slaughter High or Prom Night. He's got a big crush on Johnny. No, you're, you're better than him. He's got nothing on you, man. He's got nothing. No, nothing. I really wish someone told me that this movie doubles as a prequel to The Fanatic. Are they gonna bang or not? Weapon of mass destruction. Go ahead, touch it. I hope this movie goes the full gay Dracula, 13 inches deep and hard. So it's Thanksgiving break, and what better time to look at some trees and take a dump in a shack. And how did they afford Lassie to be in this? Don't go running too far off, Lassie! Stop making my references for me! Since it's Thanksgiving, best say what we're thankful for. I'm thankful that your mom has the juiciest poon in town. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> you banged an old woman, bro! We still going with the flashbacks. I just wish me and my old man had a little bit more time to bond. Oh yeah, I care about this. I always wanted to see a very cats in the cradle Thanksgiving. The nerd has the best priorities. I'm gonna have sex with someone in this car. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> just listen to this dirty talk. Oh please, Allie, your legs are harder to shut than the John Bonet Ramsey. Oh, snap! <laughs> Topical. Nothing brings friends together like child murder. 
This movie went to the leprechaun school of resurrecting things. I guess pissing on this item found in the Trilogy of Terror gift shop should work. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, what's that, Lassie? Timmy is watching a terrible Thanksgiving movie? Ooh, quick, put on planes, trains, and automobiles instead! Oh good, more characters. God damn, Cheryl! That coffee tastes like shit! What'd you do, take a dump in it? This movie is relatable to anyone who doesn't like drinking a cup of shit. Some people like their drinkable feces lukewarm. Oh, their Jeep broke down, I'm sure they'll be fine. They decide to get drunk and stay there. That's usually what AAA recommends that you do when you're stranded. But this ground is familiar. Crawberg. Where have I heard that name before? Nowhere! Turns out this is cursed land with an evil turkey or something stupid. The old Indian was so outraged, he vowed he would curse all white men. This was no ordinary curse, however. Great, clearly they're attending Yellow Stream University and getting their history lesson from this guy. He seems like he'd teach a course on killer turkeys. The hell is this movie called again? Turkeyologists all over the world. Oh, brother. No, it is. Thanks, killing. Oh, wait, I thought I was watching Home for the Holidays. This movie insists on still being infiltrated by a character from a Rob Zombie movie. Your dog had an accident. What the hell? What kind of accident? That's your response to a talking turkey? And then he gets a little too dramatic. Why? Why? There's my wife. No, you flashy. Damn you, turkey! My mistake, not enough F-bombs or cocksuckers for Rob Zombie's Thanksgiving, but that line did feel like a Neil Breen Thanksgiving. I hope they change the killer to the Grimace instead. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh wait, I lied. <laughs> Talking turkeys aren't very funny. Oh, he let her go. Useless. You were right, Darren. Your story was true. There is an evil turkey on the loose. Act more surprised. How are any of them still alive? Whoa. Oh, look. It's a baby bunny. Oh, no, and Glenn Close is in the woods as well. I hope to God there isn't a sex scene in this slasher flick. It's like it's just uh, two of us. Did watching King Frat last week infect all other movies with a disease called Hepatitis Fart? I see they're woken up by the sun exploding in the background. Guess I was right. They are fine after their Jeep broke down. carefully pacing out that 70-minute runtime. Truly, the killer turkey has ruined their weekend. Wow, I didn't think that my story would have this much of an effect on you guys. Get a Kleenex! Wait a minute, hang on a sec. That's a puppet. That's gas of grass. You're all getting what you deserve. He should have known the talking turkey would pull a gun on him when he asked the turkey to give him a blowjob. <laughs> That's a sentence I just said. Please give mommy a kiss and, and tell her that I... Lucky. And turkeys can't drive cars. Wait, it took them all day to drive 20 minutes? They're circling around their own jokes. Oh, looks like somebody's trying to get with you, Johnny. Haven't you noticed? She tries that with everyone. It's like her legs are harder to shut than the John Benet Ramsey case. Why stop at one when you can go back for seconds? Take that, 1996 murder case! Poor Johnny has to spend his weekend with his disapproving father. You know me and Papa don't talk anymore. Johnny. Ever since I got put a second string quarterback, he hasn't even wanted to talk to me. Mm-hmm, this is truly the all the right moves of killer turkey movies. Oh, but they made up, so that's great. I did it! I'm the starting quarterback for the Tritons! You are? Yeah. Good going, son. Good to hear, son. I can love you now. That is, until... Hey. Oh, enough of this fucking crap! Dad! Well, that's gonna ruin his Thanksgiving. No more pumpkin pie. No more cranberry sauce. This is turkey.
I question the priorities of these characters. Not one reference to pecan pie! Johnny has a drink and calmly confides in his friends, as you do. They're acting like they secretly wanted everyone to die at the hands of a killer turkey. I could show you the scene of the turkey having sex with the girl, but I'm sure the audio works just fine. Damn, that was good. You just got stuffed! I miss the subtleties of Strokemon. If you think these jokes are going to evolve now that we're past the commercial break... At least her legs were harder to close than John Benet Ramsey's legs. When screenwriter Ed G. Lord finds a joke that he likes, he shoves it up your ass like stuffing. Gotta be a way to kill this turkey. Remember all of those books that I was telling you that were written about this turkey? Yeah, so? Well, fuck, Billy, we go to the library! Yeah, none of you can read, and your library only has true crime books about the Ramsey case, apparently. Now the movie is getting intense. Hey. Bales. Bales! Bales! This movie famously doesn't have any deleted scenes. Hmm. Can't tell. I remember that time I was fooled into thinking a turkey was real simply because he put on a cheap disguise. Groucho Marx, what are you doing here? You're clearly not a turkey puppet. <laughs> Allergy season, you know. Fucking weather. Mmm, the killer turkey version of the coffee scene from Michael Mann's Heat is very well earned. I hope they become great friends. Alright, that does it. They may have saved money on gore, but the exterior shot budget went through the roof. And how is the talking turkey not the dumbest thing in the movie? How are you? Daddy. You look different. The most unbelievable thing here isn't the turkey, it's the fact that these characters got into college. Look at the signs. That's not your father. Thanks, Daddy. I'd die if it wasn't for you. More like, you will die if it was for me. That's weird. Dad usually has much worse one-liners. And now a montage of studying up and preparing to kill the evil turkey, I guess. Or you could just watch the Starvin' Marvin episode of South Park. Or you could realize her dad is a turkey and just shoot it. Movie over. But it's still got 27 minutes left. It's about time. God, it took forever. That was five minutes. Whoa, guys. Nothing in this movie feels as short as five minutes. They must remove the talisman from the turkey or something complicated. Just lure it into an oven and stab him in the eye with a turkey baster. Now time for one of them to go off alone so they can get killed. If, if that's the sheriff, then, then you must be turkey! Well, this movie is putting too much faith in its characters that even this would make them realize that's a talking turkey. Even with this intense fight scene. Now what do we do, Dad? I don't know! I haven't figured out the equation yet! Ooh, I know. I got it! I figured it out! I could watch something else. Wait, not just yet. Now it's getting serious. And unfortunately, this isn't like a football game where we can just call an audible at any time. You're right. Life is not like a playbook. This movie is as deep as a nacho cowboy hat filled with melted cheese. Oh no, he survived going off alone the first time. Why would he tempt fate by going off a second time? Hey, you put that back. That's to replenish your health in the NES version. Think of how you could have saved money in the budget if you just cut to an exterior shot of the house. Even with these lines. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tagline. Now that's what I call foul play. Stop! Damn, this movie gets me right in the feels. Please! My buddy! My best friend! Who knew that This Is Us would jump the shark in the Thanksgiving episode? Oh, is this still going? Remember when you gave me my first ice cream cone under the sunset? 
This is gonna get really pointless, isn't it? Now you've gone and left me. You were my, you were my friend. My friend. You got Who doesn't want a musical number by the bootleg counterparts Trey Stone and Matt Parker? Someone needs to kill this turkey. He's making a salad. He doesn't get Thanksgiving at all. You bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Not now, Johnny. <laughs> Why? Why not now? Just kill him so the movie can end! Or tie him up to give him a stern lecture on problematic holidays. I've got a book that's gonna send you straight to hell! <laughs> you Great, he's gonna read the turkey The Mister by E.L. James. That'll get him. Or these lines. I'm ready to see this cock burn. You mean turkey, right? No, I mean like a dick, not like the animal. Every line in this movie is totally necessary and should not be cut. The hunter shoots him, but that's not what the book says to do. Oh. Yep, he's dead. Make up your mind. Is the movie over or not? Well, guys, we just killed the most demonic turkey to ever roam the face of the earth. We didn't do anything. The redneck guy did. This movie does not need the college students. Anyway, our friends and parents may be dead, but let's go home and watch a movie. And since Night of the Living Dead is the only public domain movie in existence, let's watch that. I was in a nut house once that did the same thing. In this Thanksgiving, though, love truly wins. I may have lost my parents, but I gained a girlfriend. Not the time to masturbate, nerdy guy. I'm gonna go pee now. Yeah, I'm gonna go pee. Mm -hmm. I'm bad. No, you're gonna go jerk off. Why is this movie still going? Oh, it's because the turkey is still alive and had a nasty run in with the plutonium baby and more stupid jokes. Come on, Darren. Come on. God's awake. Come on. Nice try, movie. Your existence shows that heaven is not for real. Johnny is searching around for that cliffhanger ending. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is, along with our effects budget. No, what are you doing? The puppeteer's hand is still inside of it. We don't have any band-aids on set. And thus, the perfect way to deep fry a turkey was established in 2009 by Thanks Killing. And we still have plenty of room for leftovers. And by that, I mean this cliffhanger. Beyond! <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll see that as soon as I see that machete sequel in space. Although in 2012, we did get a sequel to Thanks Killing that skips over a part two and simply calls itself Thanks Killing 3. Well, that's not gonna confuse people! Let me just say that this movie did a terrible job at taking itself seriously. It's the drunken belligerent uncle of Thanksgiving movies. This is why I knew I shouldn't have put Blood Freak and Black Devil Doll from Hell next to each other on the shelf. Because eventually they banged and spawned this jive turkey. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there? Yes, yes, I know I did the Thanksgiving episode a week early, but you don't understand. I'm really, really hungry, and the only thing I have in the studio is this year-old Halloween candy. Still good. Could use some gravy, though. I, for one, am thankful for the expired food. It's all I have! How are you? I'm good. Um, yourself?